All right, if you're watching this, you're probably one of my students who needs to use Git and GitHub as part of their course requirement. So first thing we're going to do is download Git. So let's go open up an internet browser and do a search for Git. And the first thing that comes up is exactly what we want. So let's go to Git and let's download this for your computer. Download should happen automatically. So I'm going to just save this on the desktop with a whole bunch of other junk. Save. It's downloading. And we are done. Okay, so let's run this. Run. It just asked me for special permission. Not sure if that's going to show up or not. Okay, so now the Git Setup Wizard. Let's just leave basically everything set up with the defaults. Um, although I... Eh, we don't need any additional icons. All right, just going with all of the defaults here. So this should take a minute. While that's loading up, why don't we go to the browser and go Google GitHub, GitHub dot, or actually just Google Google it, and GitHub. Here I am apparently logged in, so let me log out. Let's sign up for a brand new username. So generic 2015 and let's give my school email account and some password. Um, okay, there you go. All right, so it says welcome to GitHub. So all we need to do now is choose our plan. The default free one is chosen for us. And I'm not going to worry about set up an organization. Just click finish and sign up. Sweet. So uh, now let's go back to check our installation. So it says it's completed. Yay. So let's finish this. Now, um, the first thing we're going to do is going to fork an existing project. So to do this, let's go to my page and my other page, not the one I just set up, and fork this capstone reproducibility project. Notice this sign or symbol up here, it says fork. That's all we need. So click fork. That will fork it. Please verify my email address. So I'm going to do this. Um, I'm going to do this in a new window and take this off screen. So that way you don't have to be bothered with all of my email junk. Come on now. Come on. I'm going to pause. Okay, so my email has now been verified. So let's go back to the repository app site, Capstone Reproducibility, and let's fork this. So right now it's forking. Look at that. Oh, it's like a book and it's stuck a fork in it and they're scanning it. Yay! Okay, we're done. Notice there's this file with data and readme. So now what we need to do is get this stuff off of the internet and onto our computer. So let's create um, a new window. Why is this so slow? Create a new window. Maybe if I go through this way. There we go. Create a new window. View new. Sorry, not new window, new folder. And we'll call this our capstone reproducibility. All right, we're going to go inside this folder, open it up. So we're in here and it's empty right now. So I'm going to right click and say git bash here. So that will start up git bash. And now what we need to do is initialize this directory. So git init. All right, and notice it put in this hidden folder here that you may or may not see depending on whether or not you're showing um, hidden folders. So we have initialized this directory. Now what we can do is pull that information off the web. So git pull https colon back or forward. I'm not sure what slashes those are github.com, then my username, generic2015, and then the name of the project that I just forked, which was capstone reproducibility. And now it should start working, and we should see this folder fill up. Yeah, check that out. It's got the data in the readme. And notice, data readme. So it's got everything that we needed. Um, so now let's make a change. Let's make a change in the readme. 
So I'm opening this up in a different program. I'm opening it up in our studio actually. So this is the README. I'm just going to delete everything. <laughs> Read this, sucker. All right, save that. And now that I made a change, I can tell Git Bash that I've made that change. So let's do that. Git add a, that's going to add everything in the directory. And now we're going to say git commit dash m and leave a message. I changed the readme. That's fine. I'm putting quotes around it because I have spaces in the name. And now let's push. So git push u, sorry, that's u, u, <laughs> origin, master. Sorry, I think I've got the U on the wrong end there. Uh-oh, doesn't have the origin right. Oh, we need to put it. All right, so get remote add origin, HTTPS. We're going to type that whole big long thing in that we did before. So, um, what is it? GitHub.com slash generic. 2015 slash git or capstone reproducibility dot git. Yay! All right, now let's type the up arrow twice to we can cycle through our previous messages and try pushing. And it asked me for my username, so let's put that in. Why? Oh, instead of putting in my um, username and password, ha ha ha, I did the wrong thing. So username is not testing one. That was my password, ha ha ha. So username was generic2015. Notice you need to be careful. I'm making mistakes as I'm doing this. You're going to make mistakes as you're doing it as well. Testing one. So just try to... Um, to Pay attention to what the error messages are and see what they'll tell you. And oftentimes they'll give you helpful hints to figure out what you're doing. So I think it's done. Because I don't see any indication that it's necessarily working. So um, let's go back to our internet browser and check. Let's refresh this page. Change the README, yeah, look, see, read this sucker, so it works. So not only did we change the project, we um, pushed it back up to GitHub. Okay, so now the next thing I want to do, you, do is show you how to create a brand new project. So let's go to your or our main homepage. And then for, where do we need to go? Oh, I think this add button up here, create new. And we want to create a new repository. So let's just call this test. And let's leave everything as a generic and create repository. So now it's created a repository. And it actually gives you all the instructions you need to um, create the repository and get it synced up with your um, GitHub account. The only things I'm going to ignore is this initial um, echo test readme thing. And also the add readme. We'll do that. Um, a little differently. So let's go back to our desktop and create a new folder. And let's create a new folder and call this test. Test. All right. And let's put something in this folder so we can make sure that we actually have something for Git to pay attention to. So basically, I just pasted it into the test folder. So that's sweet. I'm going to go inside of this folder. I'm going to say git bash here. Now the window comes up and I'm going to git in it. Actually what is going to come next? Let's go back to the web page because it tells us. So git commit comes after git in it. So let's paste. I right click to paste because I don't think it likes pasting otherwise. 
Uh oh, there's some untracked files. I what do I need to do? Git add a. Now let's do the commit. Yay! Go back to the instructions on the website and get remote origin at origin. This computer is not working well with this right now. Yeah, so it's not pasting when I do control V. But if I right click and paste, it works. All right, now we've added that origin. And finally, let's git push u origin master. Come on, right click, paste, booyah. And again, it's popped up this window asking for my username, and that is generic2015. OK. And it's asking me for my uh, password testing one. And it looks like we're done. So let's reopen our internet browser window. And we're already in generic tests, so let's refresh this. And look, you see the readme, and the readme is exactly what it was before because I just copied and pasted. So basically, I just showed you how to install um, Git, how to create a GitHub user account, how to fork a project on Git, how to update the project, and then how to push the changes back up to Git. I've also showed you how to create a brand new project by yourself, edit the project on your own computer, and then push it back up to Git. So hopefully that should be all you'll need to know um, in order to be successful, at least with the pulling and pushing and the giddy part of the assignments. Have a great one. Bye.